Okay, so I'm out at Messick's, and no, I'm not buying a combine. But I figured in my video that I said that I was looking at a New Holland hay rig because I thought that they were built very well. And uh, I think these are the same as the Steerex or Citrix, Citrex rake. And uh, I'm almost certain they are because they are made in Italy. Uh, tell me that's not heavy duty right there. I mean, that's a half inch of steel there. These uh, hitches are way heavier than what the uh, the H and S rakes are. Uh, this is only a ten wheel rake, but I, I do like the way it is put together. Uh, I am having problems. If, if you guys are wondering why I'm looking at a different rake style, I'm having problems right here on my uh, on my H and S rakes. Okay. This is not heavy enough. They're starting to break apart, and this is just is just very different than this. Uh, I like this system better, and the reason I am going to be moving away from the H and S rakes is because they do have some minor, small problems that I just don't feel are, you know, worth it to me. And then I'm going to walk over here, over here. And I'm going to show you the other rake that I'm interested in purchasing. I'm going to pull this cap off of here, and I'm going to show you the difference in the steel. This is rake straw, by the way. You can see this is a used one. Uh, this steel is a lot heavier than what the H&S was. Light running rakes are great. I love them, but they also have to be durable. And again, the Peckway rake. This is a 12-wheel Peckway rake. Uh, and look at the heft of this right here. This is very heavy. It is half inch steel or 516 steel. I think that's half inch steel there too. Uh, and it's just heavy duty, easily greased. Down here, there's none of those springs. I have broke a couple of the springs on the H&S. The tires are the same, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Again, put together very, very tight, very durable. Uh, I actually like the way this particular rake is put together. Uh, this is a 12 wheel. It is a 12 wheel rake and it is just, you know, to me it looks like it's really put together the way it should be put together. Each one of these uh, wheels is independently sprung. Uh, I believe you can adjust these springs. Yes, you can. See, there's an adjustment there. So if you want more down pressure or less down pressure, that can be adjusted right right there uh, individually. Uh, that is where it should be. To For me, personally, I think that's where it should be. Not down here. Because the spring that you would put down there is just constantly going to get beat up and I've broken a couple of them. Uh, I'll go over here to the other 10 wheel Peckway and I'll show you that they are built very heavy. They're put together right. I mean, this is heavy, greasable here. Everything is greasable. Um, and for the price, the difference in the price, I think that I will be somewhat happy with what it is. Uh, so this is a mid-cap rake, 10 wheel. This one here, I believe, is the same mid-cap rake, 10 wheel, 12 wheel. This one's used slightly. And I don't understand why anybody would want to uh, trade it in that fast. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't what they thought it was when they purchased it. I don't know. But they're individual. The arms look like they're built pretty pretty stout. I, yeah. I don't like the way that's welded. That's just a manufacturing flaw if you ask me. They're, they're kind of... I don't know. How thick is that? Well, yeah. It's about the same thickness. Those arms may be a problem. Um, but that all depends on the heft of the hay, the amount of hay that you're running through it. And uh, I don't know, I'm just talking my way through it here. But the New Holland, like I said, and I'm going to go back to the New Holland, they are built very differently. And I don't know, you guys are saying, oh yay, new, new, uh, new videos on broken New Holland stuff. Well, yes and no. This here adjusts a little bit different than what the, uh, than what the, uh, uh, the Peckway does. It's just a, you know, it's just a slide. You can increase or decrease the pressure. And they have rubber bushings there, which I like a lot. And I also like these solid shafts that are welded on bent steel tubing. You will bend these shafts, but you won't break that tubing like 
uh, you will with some of the other models. I've looked at a lot of these things. Now, this tubing is thinner than what the Pequay is, just a little bit. Uh, this is going to be something like a uh, 10, 11 gauge maybe, 10 gauge. Maybe that's uh, 3 16 steel. Uh, but it is welded over a very large surface area, including here and here. So it would take a lot more for that thing to break. I don't understand this piece, whether that's an extension that they added to it, which could very well be. I don't know. Um, yeah, it looks like an extension. Oh, it is an extension. So yeah, they just added, they just bolted an extension onto there. That just bolts inside there, and I could almost guarantee you that it's here too. So you can take those off. If you snap that off of there, fully replaceable. So I hope that you understand uh, why I am keeping a rake, as I say, fresh. Uh, this one is actually very narrow to go down the road. You can see that they actually touch. Um, the wheels on these rakes are about $1,650 to replace on a 12-wheel rake. And uh, I can trade those rakes in for somewhere around $4,500 or sell them for $4,500. They're excellent rakes. They're ready to go to the field when, I leave, when I'm done with them. And I'm probably going to sell them outright. Uh, but the... Uh, the, uh, the new ones, we're looking at seven, maybe a little more than $7,000 for this, this hay rake. It's not going to be 8000 I know that for a fact. Uh, so for three to $4,000, I get a brand new rake with a warranty and new wheels that I don't have to replace. So I hope I explained that uh, well enough for you. It might not have. There's a lot of really cool equipment around here. Everybody will say, oh, that's an old combine, but to me, that's like brand freaking new. I love them. I wish I was doing corn and soybeans again because I would just love to have one of these. Trade in my TR-96 on one of these new bad boys. There's so much equipment out here, it's not even funny. I thought they had brand new, uh, brand new baler out here, but they do not. That one might be new. That one's new, the others are not new. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah, check this out. Look at that. Could you see that on the farm? Maybe, maybe not, maybe.